Alright guys, I am back with a Nintendo Switch. This is Bass Pro Shops The Strike. Now this game has actually been around for quite a while. Now this version of it is from 2018, but it goes back much, much further than that. And I've thought about going back to doing some Nintendo Switch games for a while now. I've had some interest and some of the ones that I did put out, but it's logistically was very difficult at first. But I think I finally got the situation straightened out. I've got my own office in here. I can get the dogs out of the way so they don't make too much noise. Because when you record with this, it picks up every little tiny sound. So you have to be really careful with regards to that. So, and as far as this goes, I think I only looked at it once. Anyway, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to try to figure out how to get this started. I think Quick Fish may be our best option because I do not see any kind of tutorial unless you do it through the career. I mean, it is possible you do it through the career, so we could select that and see what happens. Well, let's do the career mode. Maybe we'll figure it out, maybe we won't. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a couple of years since I even tried this. Other than that, I do not know what I'm doing. We just have one lake, and that's Lake Amistad. We will unlock others, obviously, as we go. I have to read these fast, apparently. Located in Tennessee River, Lake Gunnersville is Alabama's largest lake. Anglers will be pl pleased by large populations of walleye, crappies, smallmouth bass, and striped bass. When not busy casting, anglers can... Wow, they really do not give me time to read that. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, we've got equipment. Yeah, it looks like we are going to... Oh, boy. So, what do we do? We come in here and we pick whatever we're going to use? Hmm, okay. Well, let's try crankbait, then. We have, oh, we only have $100 in our account, so we've got a limited amount of money we can use here. Well, let's go ahead and purchase that for now. These lures are unlimited. Spend your money on another choice. What? Oh. Be back. Well, let's go down to spoons. We already own that too. Do we really need to buy anything? Okay, we already have all this stuff. Didn't tell me this. So we don't really need to go buy any equipment. Let's just start fishing. I was a little little misled there. Thousands of monarch butterflies treat this lake as a respite for their annual migration to Mexico, also home to 4,000 year old cave art. Lake Amistad is stocked with smallmouth, largemouth, and striped bass, as well as catfish and black crappies. <sighs> I got it out. <laughs> Oh, so I have a reputation. Yeah, last I did jump in previously, and I had a little trouble with the boat at first. Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops U.S. Open of Bass Fishing, America's top bass fishing championship. Let's get started. All Press right. and hold the ZR button to accelerate and use the left stick to steer. The ZL button allows you to reverse. Okay, so Come there to is a tutorial. Stop and press the A button to enter casting mode. This automatically calls up the targeting reticle.
There's reverse. There's four. All right. Okay, so go to casting mode. Use the left stick to move the reticle to the position you want to cast to. All right, let's throw it way over here somewhere. Now press and hold the ZR button. This will bring up the casting power meter. You'll see two green zones and one red. The green zone closest to the angler ensures the distance you want. And the green zone at the top provides lateral accuracy. Wait a minute. There the Y go. button resets your cast for quick retrieval. Continue to press the Y button to cycle through different casting modes. Overhand, sidearm, and underhand. Oh, okay. That's cool. Catch your fish to continue. Well, I think we spin the... fish well, nothing seems to be happening. This is where we are. This is not a very big lake. And this is really deep water. I don't know if we're gonna see any fish on that or not. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. I see a fish. I see a fish. Okay guys, let me show you here something real quick. You can set your cast speed cast speed to slow and to fast, depending upon how you kick the lot was it the left and right buttons? Yeah, it didn't really tell you that. That was something that the tutorial did not give you any idea about. I'm gonna take it up a notch see if that doesn't get their attention. I'm not 100% certain they're going for this lure. Try it again. Let's try a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't think they're going for this lure, guys. Now, if you want to do a quick retrieve, I believe you hit Y, and it'll stop it. Now, if we go over to here, we can change our lures, and I'm going to see if I can't 
figure out how to do that. And I have a crankbait on there now. Let's see if they go for something else, like maybe either a spoon or a spinner. It looked like it was crappie down there. Let's try a spoon first. We'll go ahead and equip that. Yeah, they definitely didn't want to go for the crankbait, that's for sure. I'm going to take the speed down a little bit. Let's see if they go for a spoon. If they don't go for that... They didn't indicate what kind of bait we were supposed to use. Or lure. Yeah, they're just swimming around. They're not even paying attention. Try one more time. Just swimming around, they don't seem to give a care in the world. Try a different lure. Could try a soft plastic. That might be what we're ideal here for. Powerful scent, plump, distinctive squirming tail. Maybe. I don't know, at this point, gotta try something. Well, that looks enticing. If I was a fish, I think I would think that was something to go for. It is interesting that it's green. Why is that hook green? Why did it turn green? Maybe that means presentation. Sometimes those type of indicators... That fish was coming for at that time. I think that might have been it, guys. We have to let that thing sink, and we have to get that hook to present as green. And this is what they're interested in, apparently. Let's see how that... There we go! Ah, well, oh, I forgot, you have to hit the bottom thing to set the hook. Shoot. We got him. That was definitely the thing we needed to use. Now we gotta fight him to get him out of the water. Yes! Wow, that's cool. Look at him jump like that. That's cool. Now we're just gonna let him take it a little bit. Can't push too much. He's got it right at the limits there, guys. 
We got him. This is our first one. Four point two point four pounds. Catching pound. fish earns you reputation points, which you'll need to unlock tournaments. You'll also be presented with opportunities to earn Bass Pro Shops gift cards, which you can use to buy new equipment. That was cool. All right, let's see. You must see. earn 50 reputation points to unlock the tournament for this level. This lake is full of largemouth and striped bass. A selection of spinner baits and jerk baits will help bring them in. The black crappie swimming around in there will appreciate a nice grub too. Well, that's the thing. I mean, what are what are we dealing with at times? If you look at the small button, and they don't tell you this stuff. Let me go ahead and get in, the, in here. Yeah, you look for that fish marker, that way you know where they are. Okay, oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Check that out. Holy crikeys, what the heck? Okay, that is a much bigger fish, but what in the world would it go for? That's a good question though. Let's see, we do ha yeah, we do have a spinner bait. Doesn't tell you what they go for. I mean what goes for them. But I think I now know what to look for here, guys. Let's give this a try. Okay, it's not growing very very much. Yeah, I think it's because there's no fish around there. Let me see, it says... Ho ho ho! There's some fish right there, but they don't. I don't think they're going to go for this. Let's let it sink a little bit first. Maybe it'll. Yeah, see, it's not glowing very green. Well, now it is. Just not any of this fish that we're interested in over there, I don't think. Let's go back to soft plastics. Sink. There are fish here, it's just a matter of getting their attention. And that one seems to be interesting. We got him. Let's 
see if he jumps. Oh, he didn't jump. 1.2 pound smallmouth. Reputation went up a little bit more. Not too bad. And it's getting to be night, apparently. Let's go ahead and get back in the boat. We are obviously dealing with night fishing now. Let's put the fish finder on here and see if we run across any. There's another boat. There's more fish over this way. Let's find a bigger fish marker though. place and there's a big fish marker right in front of us. So let's see what that holy crap you can see them. Oh my goodness. <sighs> let's see how this plays out. Well I saw them but this hook is not even close to green. Oh there it goes. There it goes. Oh gosh, this is a big fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they went for the soft bait. They didn't at first. Oh gosh, ah, this might be the limit of my gear here, guys. I'm gonna have to let this thing fight it out. This is a striped bass. Oh, it's so close. Don't let him get too far loose. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, there's definitely a learning curve to this, guys, but I'm enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, my buddy Dula said that this is actually a very good game. I think it's based on more of an arcade game, but... Still, it's been a lot of fun so far. I just gotta make sure he doesn't. He's starting to get tired. I think that's what that little indicator on the right is. Ooh, he is really pushing it. Ah, he got loose. He broke the line. Dang, gun it. Ah, it was close. That was close, but my gear may not be big enough for that. But he definitely put up a good fight. I'll give him that. Okay, we got somebody interested. There he goes. Yeah, I'm learning how they do. That thing goes green, you let him go. Let him get it. Ooh, boy. Nice. I don't think this one is as big as the last one. We might have a better chance of getting him in. We 
he's not tired yet. He's taking, he's actually taking it out. Holy crap, this is going to be quite the fight. Ugh, I don't know, man. Yep, yeah, he's too big. They're just too big, guys. Well, that was fun, though. <laughs> I have to say, that's definitely challenging. I guess you can go and get you some bigger gear, but... I don't think we're going to be getting any of those anytime soon. They're just too big. Let me go ahead and get back in the boat here. Well, I don't know how to take a look at me straight ahead, but I believe there is a way to do it. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the Strike back from Bass Pro Shop. You can get this. It's not really expensive, and it's a lot of fun once you learn how to play it. It's The tutorial is not very good. A lot of this has been stuff I've had to figure out, taking me a little bit of time. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I hope maybe you might want to see more of these. I've got a lot of of switch games if there's any that you want to see let me know and i will see you later bye bye